Welcome Pisces, 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 Pisces. Oh my God, congratulations, Pisces, you're at your season. And this is what I, you know, I've been saying, I want to say welcome to each and every one. Um, this Pisces season for you, Pisces, is going to be, you saw it, you saw it, you saw it, you saw it, Pisces. All right, so Pisces, this season is going to be good. Your season begins from February 19th until March 20th. You are looking good, Pisces. You are looking good. All right, so because you're the Pisces and it's your season, we're going to be going in these four weeks individual so listen um write the sweet dates for yourself up but also listen what is going to be happening to you in the spicy season okay all right pisces i really do love this your energy nine and seven is 16 uh, and five is 21 and three is wow 24 that is a six 24 is six so um, this is good. So, um, we have eight and nine. We can do it like that. Um, eight, eight and, uh, um, eight and nine. Um, wow. This is, this is a good number. Eight, nine and seven. Eight, nine and seven, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be good. Um, you know, check out what is your lucky number and what you need to use. But, um, this is really good because, um, uh yeah, eight nine eight and nine is seventeen. Seventeen and seven is twenty four. Okay, so a lot of people are getting twenty four six in the Scorpion season. Um, go back and look at your Moon Rising sign in order to get also extra message. Remember, Pisces, wherever you fall, um, in whichever week. Okay, so. Um, this week, write it down so you can remember. This week is the week of the 19th until the 28th. This week is the week of uh, the 1st of March until the 7th of March. So people that is born the 1st of March, um, between the 1st of March and the 7th of March, you're going to be very, very successful in this season. A lot of money, money that was owed to you is going to be paid out. Money is going to be coming in. This is going to be good. Then as we look at this season, you're taking down some sort of an unconventional situation that was transpiring. You're bringing it in. This week is from the 8th until the 14th. Then we get to the last week, which is the 15th until the 20th. You're going to be having an abundance in this year. You're going to be successfully overcoming some sort of an unconventional situation that was transpiring. All right, so we're going to be looking at week to week. Remember, 24-6 is your energy. It's about materialistic stability. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what is it about seven? This is Saturn in Taurus. So people that was born 19, between 19 February and 28 February, you are dealing with a situation where you're dealing with Saturn in Taurus. Okay, Saturn in Taurus is that you have some sort of a fear around you, fear of failure. You need to release this, okay? So people between the ages of 19 and 28, release the fear of failure. I see that you're using the fear of failure in order to create an imbalance for your mental, um, and you need to let it go, okay? Uh, limited productiveness and performance because you have a thing in your mind of failures. The F, F, F. You got to let go the F, 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 F area of failures. You got to let go the F, F, F in order to exhilarate in this season that is coming up for you, which is very beautiful. You need to look at what is under the shoes, okay? You can also, um, because this is your season, um, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you have two pick. You pick the one that is under in the week that you fall and you can pick any other of uh, the three um, symbols to find those. So you have two messages. You're going to be having to help. You guys are the only one because you're in your own season. This, that is the bonus for you guys. So this is powerful. So I need you guys to release the FFF. There is no failure. You, there is no failure, ladies and gentlemen. That is one word that I think should not have been created. There's no failure. A lot of you are working on a project. A lot of you 
are thinking that you you know your project is not going to work out it's going to be failing no 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 you gotta take back release the fff free um 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 um, release FFF. It's not happening. Your project is going to be good and it is going to be running smoothly. So remember this. So again, um, look at what the energy that is going to be coming up under the shoes and also choose one of uh, um, the rest of the three energies. Okay. You can choose one, one, only one. So you will have two information that is going to guide you. A lot of you are going to be starting some sort of a project, working on some sort of a project. It is going to be good. Um, recognize that you have an earth energy, earth and water is good. Um, you are going to be dealing with the Taurus people because the Saturn in Taurus. So a lot of you are going to be changing a project, your business, your, your website, uh, um, new groups, that sort of association. Um, it's going to be changing up. Some of you could be having issues with your bosses, but not to worry. A lot of you are going to be having Tauruses in your hair. Okay. So Tauruses could be coming in whether to help you or work against you, but you are aware of this. Tauruses is the boss. Tauruses is people in authority also. Okay. But it's good because your project is going to be give, bringing in a whole lot of money and that is good. Then we're looking at the people in the second week that was born the 1st of March until the 7th of March. 1st of March until the 7th of March. And this is good. Money. Money is here for you guys. The 9 um, of Pentacles is about gains, okay? The 9 of Pentacles is about Venus in Virgo. And this is a real positive energy, Venus in Virgo, because what is transpiring with the energy of Venus in Virgo is that you're going to be improving on in your improvements. A lot of improvements is going to be coming up in your financial area. And this is going to be good. A lot of you are going to be harvesting a lot of abundance. The money that was owed to you is going to be paid out now. I see success is going to be coming in with whatever venture and business you're doing. So people... Um, who was born the 1st of March until the 7th of March. This is going to be absolutely, absolutely positive and powerful because you're going to be recognizing that you're going to be having a lot of money. Gains is coming in. And this is big. This is really big and powerful. So enjoy. You need to look at the dice. So a lot of people are saying, I can't find the number. It's not the numbers. It's the dice. You need to look at the dice and you need to choose either the shoes and that or that okay so you get to choose two energies it's going to be powerful ladies and gentlemen there's no question about it um venus in virgo is saying that you're going to be finding uh, um the career that you love that is going to be helping you to make a lot of money okay so if there's something that you love to do that is where your financial abundance is going to be coming in and that is your flow um of materialistic stability and wealth so Pisces, go back. I don't know if some of you are aware of my general channel. Go back and check out what is also coming up in the general channel because you guys hit the job part with money and your project is going to be get, bringing in a lot of money. Project business, um, some sort of a new promotion is going to be coming in. Um, a lot of you are going to be focusing on things that you love and that you're going to be impure, using that to improve your financial uh, areas in your life. So you're going to be harvesting a lot of money out the project, business, things that you set up for yourself. OK, all right. Let's move forward to the people who were born on the 8th until the 14th. Now you are having communication uh, situation where you have Venus in Aquarius. So if you notice Pisces, because Venus, um, Venus is a planet of love and Venus, um, is all about the love and Venus in Aquarius is coming up for you people who were born the eight until the 14. Venus in Aquarian is some sort of a, um, breakdown. You're going to be defeating and ending some sort of a conflict, whether it's a personal conflicts, inner conflicts, whatever is going on. You're going to be defeating and ending this conflict. You're going to be coming out on top. You are took down some sort of a conflict that has been going on. You are showing up people and recognizing what people were doing and letting people be aware of what people were doing and how people were um, using 
um, you know, their communication skill and was using to intercept things and to create a whole lot of problems. And you're going to be ending that. So whether it was in a conflict, out of conflicts, negative people on the work floor, people that was intruding on you on the work floor, in business, in your communication network skill, this is over. This is over because you Pisces are saying no more, not this year, no more. Um, you know, whatever you create in your own season is going to be lasting you to the other season. So this is about the, the, the mental anguish and worries dealing with people on the work floor. This is going to be over because you're walking away from it. You're not leaving your job, but you're going to be putting up uh, um, emotional boundaries so that people don't come over it and keep those emotional boundaries up. So it's about loving yourself because Venus uh, in Aquarius is about loving yourself, uh, but also letting people know how far to go with you. You're putting up your boundaries and letting people know how far to go with you because you are no longer accepting the, the, you know, the BS that was played. You're not recognizing, um, what was happening, what was transpiring and how people were, you know, using your emotional self and using your emotion in order to incorporate and to create a lot of problems. So here it is. You set your boundaries up. Then we're looking at the last energies, the 15th until the 20th. We have the cups. So this is going to be powerful. You have, it's a water season. You have the three of cups. This is beautiful. Um, the three of cups energy is about abundance. So as you see, Scorpions, Pisces, you're getting a lot of uh, happiness because that is Mercury in Cancer. Mercury in Cancer is about emotional wealth and abundance of feelings so celebration um celebrating friendship celebrating you know working you you you, you know you connect to the right group of people at the workplace you have uh, I recognize that you have the right people on your team. You're coming together and sharing, but in a very positive way. There's no secrets. There's nothing that is influencing anything. You're open and you're ready to show up for yourself. And this is a very, very powerful way, powerful way that you guys from the 15th under the, the 20th is doing, because this is the energy that is going to bring you um, through 2021 to 2022 because this is your season and this is going to be powerful. Now, the Three of Cups, it is about um, the communication, all right? You're revealing and communicating. You're using your skills of creativity and communication in order to let people be aware of what has been happening and transpiring and you're ex uh, exhilarating money abundance prosperity to come in your world and this is going to be a year of a lot of blessings coming into you guys uh, you know you will never be out of work um you know even if you're out of work you or have your own side piece job um self-employment side piece job self-employed people are going to be happy that they choose to be self-employed so this is absolutely fabulous there is no question about it this is that you're going in the right direction moving forward in a very very positive way so again you guys, this is your energy, but you can also look at any one of these. So you get to look at two energies, the rose, and you can look at any one of these energies. I do love you, Pisces. I'm so happy for you, Pisces. Show your love by thumbs up. I want to say to you guys, I really appreciate um, you guys. Um, support and to all my VIPs or Pisces, thank you so much. It is good, Pisces. If you're a self employed person, become a member. Um, uh, I think it's $4.99 per month for the second subscription. The second subscription give you more. The first subscription is only the monthly extended, but the second subscription give you more, um, in order to um, accumulate. All right. I do love you guys. I gotta go, but I'm saying namaste until next time.